everyone, Nancy here from Stylized Fashion Crate. To tuck or untuck, that is the question, and that is what I'm going to be addressing on today's styling tips. This is generally an area a lot of women struggle with when it comes to office wear. Should I leave my shirt tucked in or can I actually go with it untucked? Because sometimes it just a, feels better to have your shirt untucked. So while there are no hard and fast rules, whether to leave a shirt tucked or untucked, here are generally the guidelines that, uh, that I use when I'm choosing whether I should tuck or untuck. Generally, a tucked in shirt gives a little more of a polished look and it's also a lot better for layering. So as you can see here, I've got my jacket on and I've got my shirt untucked. And usually the types of shirts that you tucked in are buttoned down, they have a collar and they're fitted. So that means that your shirt has darts in them. The shirt will also often hit you just above the, the hip bone. This is a great rule of thumb, generally tuck in these types of shirts. Now, one caveat to that, if you are short and busty, then sometimes tucking in a shirt doesn't always look good. If that's the case for you, then just go ahead and leave your shirt untucked. Also, another time to tuck your shirt in is if you're wearing a wide-legged pant, such as we have here. So because you've got a lot of flowy material on the uh, bottom, then you really want to make sure that you have a more fitted top. Of course, there are plenty of times where you can wear an untucked shirt and it's absolutely fine. An untucked shirt does give you a little bit more of a casual uh, look and it's great if you are wearing a tunic style top over a skinny type of pant, then you do want to leave the shirt untucked. Or of course, if you're wearing a shirt where the detail naturally lends itself to being untucked and the shirt is obviously meant to be to be that way, such as with this peplum shirt. And I don't know why, but whenever I'm leaving a shirt untucked, probably because it is a little bit more of that casual look, then I always tend to pair it with, with flats. Now that's just my own, uh, my own sort of style choice, but I do tend to wear flats when I'm wearing a shirt that's untucked. Now a nice compromise to the tucked or untucked is actually the half tucked shirt. So this is where you leave the, the front of your shirt tucked in and the back of your shirt uh, out. Now, thanks to watching Queer Eye and Tan on that, uh, that show, I've learned that this is actually called a French tuck. This is something that's very popular and I've actually been wearing this style for, uh, for a while now. So let me just give you an example of a half tuck shirt. Okay, so now here you can see that I'm wearing a shirt that's half tucked. Again, it's not really a fitted shirt. It's not the button down with the collar. This is much more a looser blouse type shirt and this is perfect for doing the half tuck. Using a half tuck, it will really um, accentuate your waist so it visually gives you a waist. And it's also a really great, great way to um, you know, highlight a belt if you're wearing a really um, awesome belt that you want to show off. But as you can see, tucked in at the, tucked in at the front, you can, you can loosen and blouse it a little bit uh, more, whatever your choice is. But then you've got the untucked portion at the back. This style is also good if you're um, really sensitive about your, your midsection. It does kind of give a nice little hiding um, of that of that area. So again, those are sort of some uh, guidelines whether you want to do a full tuck, an untuck, or a half tuck. Again, generally keep in mind if you're wearing a really fitted bottom, whether it's pants or a skirt, then wear a looser flowing, uh, flowing top. If you're wearing um, very flowy loose pants, such as the wide leg pants that I showed at the top of this video, then wear something that's more fitted on your top. So there you have it. Easy peasy, right? Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk to you again.